Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. Uh, in this video, we are continuing with the uh, archetype class builds. We're on Sorcerers, we're in the Ultimate Magic book. Uh, the Sorcerer had two archetypes. We're going over the cross-blooded archetype today. There are, in this book, they also released a few more bloodlines. So if you're getting uh, stale from playing all the bloodlines uh, in the core rulebook, take a look at these. They'll add more options to you. So the cross-blooded archetype for the sorcerer. A cross-blooded uh, bloodline combines the powers of two distinct heritages. In most cases, sorcerers with this bloodline are the offspring of two sorcerers from different ancestries. But occasionally, a cross-blooded sorcerer arises from the conjunction of other powers. A draconic sorcerer who is also a cumulative of a great destiny, an abyssal sorcerer from a family that dealt with devils, and an arcane sorcerer raised from birth by fae are all possible sorcerers for cross-blooded bloodlines. A cross-blooded sorcerer selects two different bloodlines. The sorcerer may gain access to the skills, feats, and some of the powers of both bloodlines. She is descended from, but at the cost of reducing mental clarity and choice. Class skills. A cross-blooded sorcerer receives the bonus class skill from both of her bloodlines. If these are the same skill, this does not grant any additional benefit. Bonus spells. A cross-blooded sorcerer may select her bonus spells from either of her bloodlines. The sorcerer also has the choice to learn a lower level bonus spell she did not choose in place of a higher level bonus spell she would normally gain. Lower level bonus spells learned this way always use the spell level that they would be if the sorcerer had learned them with the appropriate bonus spell. Then it gives an example. Uh, bonus feats. A cross-blooded sorcerer combines the bonus feat list from her, both of her bloodlines and may select her bloodline bonus feat from this combined list. Bloodline Arcana. A cross-blooded cross sorcerer gains the bloodline Arcana of both of her bloodlines. Bloodline Powers. At 1st, 3rd, ninth, 15th, and 20th level, a cross-blooded sorcerer gains one of the two new bloodline powers available to her at the level. She may, instead of selecting a lower level bloodline power, she did not choose in place of one of these higher level powers. Drawbacks. A cross-blooded sorcerer has one fewer known spells known at each spell level. Than, the, than what is presented in the core rulebook. Furthermore, the conflicting urges created by the divergent nature of the cross-blooded sorcerer's dual heritage uh, forces her to constantly take some mental effort just to remain focused on her current situation and needs. This leaves her with less mental resolve to deal with external threats. A cross-blooded sorcerer always takes minus two penalty on will saves. Well, with all those drawbacks and all those benefits, I'd probably play one. Would you guys play one? Let me know.